Hello friends, welcome to third video lecture in the series of Spark SQL. In this video, we will see how to add index to a data file. Before jumping on directly, I would like to show you one blog. This is from towardsdatascience.com. Here you can see this is our traditional database. In traditional database, we were having just one table that was structured properly and we just added this index column directly. Here you can see this data frame is divided into various small partitions and it is present in various nodes. So serializing it or putting index values on these columns can really be a cumbersome task. Though if you are really in need of indexing your data frame, this is what you need to do. First of all, start with a Spark shell. Then we will import this org.apache.spark.sql.spark session. After that, we will build this Spark session. Then we have to load the data set. Let's see the schema of this dataset. Now let's see how this dataset actually looks. We will write df.so and here it is. We see in this dataset we don't have any index. We just want to add one index column in this dataset. What we'll do? We will add index using monotonically increasing id. Here we see we get one extra column, this index column. It's indxx and its value starts from 0 to whatever be the last row. Now the problem is in this case we can see that the value is increasing monotonically. However, this does not guarantee that this indexing will be in sequence. It is possible that after 1 there can be 3 or 5 or 7. It will be monotonically increasing but it's not necessary to be in sequence. What if I want to do indexing with 1? So it's very easy. I'll just add plus one in our previous code and here it is. We see that indexing starts from one, one, two, three, four, like this. Now, what if we want to reorder the columns? Because index is generally present in the very first column. What if we want to reorder it in such a way that index appears in the first column? What we'll do? We'll just select in whatever way we want. We need to save our previous data frame as new df with this index column. We'll simply do it like this. Now if we see the result new df dot so we can see that we have one index column added. What if we want this index to be present in our first column? We can simply select it in the order we want. We just write index comma name comma type one dot so. What if these are actually present in some list? For example, if these are saved in a variable column name. This case is possible when we have many columns and all these columns are present in this list. What we'll do is simply use this command new df dot select column name. This column name is the variable name where this list is stored and I will map each of these elements as the column name of every column of this new data frame. Let's see how it is. Here we have index name and type. So again we get the same thing but this time we didn't write explicitly those column names. Bye for now. Meet you in next lecture.